Morning, everybody. We're just outside Lloydminster. We're on the Saskatchewan side. We stopped at the scale. I don't usually like sleeping at scales, but my body said to me yesterday, hey, Josh, there's an open parking spot over there. You better take it. You better take it right now. And it gave me that kind of like, you know, I'm tired. You better stop, you know? So here we are. I'd actually parked on the other side where I showed you last night when we stopped. But of course, you know, half a half hour after I had laid my head down, I was just drifting off to sleep. It was probably less than that. It was probably because I was so tired. Probably like 10 minutes after I put my head down. Uh, another guy pulls into the empty spot beside me, right? I'm like, oh, okay, I got a neighbor. Hopefully he'll be quiet. Oh, he wasn't quiet. No, no. Opens his door. He's got his music blaring. Has his engine fan going on and off and on and off. Had his high beams on too, but luckily they weren't shining in my cab, but he did park there with his high beams on. That's besides the point. And uh, he's talking on his phone, right? Really, really loudly. And I'm like, okay, this guy's really obnoxious. He's really annoying. He's making a lot of noise. And I have my windows down at this time of year, right? It's the perfect time of year. I have the screens in my window so that mosquitoes can't come in, but I can still have the windows open, have fresh air, and just enjoy the peaceful sounds. That's why I stopped way out here, so it's quiet. Uh, and this guy was walking around his truck, just talking loudly on his phone. And his truck was loud, and his music was on, his door was open. I don't know what he was doing, but after a half hour, I'd had enough. And so I creeped it from uh, the other side of the building over there, where that white truck is, way out there. And I creeped it around over here, and I had no neighbors. This guy just got here like just a little while ago. He he wasn't wasn't here all night. No neighbor. Oh look, somebody's got a big band right there. I better grab that. It's not mine, but anyways, perfect night. Absolutely perfect night on this side of the lot. I feel so good today. I haven't felt this this good in a little while. I, I needed that sleep. I needed it. My body was so tired from that truck show. And I didn't get enough rest the night after that. Today's gonna be a really good day. I mean, every day is a good day, but today's gonna be a really good day. I feel great. You know, we got this little like reservoir or this pond or whatever out here. So I slept and I had like the sounds of nature. I woke up to birds chirping. I felt like I was just you know, camping. It was amazing. It was amazing. So now I'm hearing the sound of these tires rolling past here and it's making me want to go trucking. So let's get Old Blue ready and let's get out there. Thing is where it should be. There's a little bit of a mess in here. That's okay. Yesterday was a long day. We'll fix it today. We'll have a bit of a shorter day today and have some time to clean things up. Let's get out there. Old blows warmed up, ready. Dash camera is on and running. Okay, we're gonna check our trailer. It's attached. It's gonna come with us. Good. You don't want to leave that behind. That'd be awkward getting to the customer. All right, so I am facing eastbound. I want to go westbound. I had to move over to this side, like I said before. Because I had a noisy neighbor show up after I was already parked. And you know how I feel about that. If there's a better spot, I'll just move. And if there's not, I'll probably ask him to go and be quiet. <laughs> like, come on, coming into a, where trucks are parked for night, that's like walking into a hotel with like a boom box on your shoulder. Like, come on, man. Come on. Whatever, it worked out, right? I don't like parking on the other side of the direction I'm traveling on when I'm parking at a scale house like this. Because now I've got to drive right past the scale house. I don't think they're there, but they might be. They're definitely not open because I've seen trucks go driving past, so. Everybody look cool, look natural. Why is that guy parked right in the middle of the driveway? That's interesting. Yeah, they're closed. And give her. This guy's like sticking away under the driveway. Well, am I supposed to go around that way? Or am I supposed to go around that way? I'm gonna go around that way. Well, I guess that's where the parking spots are. Yeah, that's how they made it. Huh? Never realized that. That's okay. I can go around this way. 
Oh, hey, that was the noisy guy, wasn't it? That was the noisy guy. Oh, sure, now he's quiet. Now he's quiet. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. So he did shut his truck off and go to bed eventually. Could have probably stayed there, but nah. My patience ran thin. That's okay. I was tired. I wanted to sleep. That's all right. I fixed the situation. No harm, no foul. I'm feeling really good today. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is the best part of the day. Getting back out there. Come on, old blue. It's going to be a good day, right? sort of, uh, you know, floats around a little bit. Kind of freaks, freaks a guy out. But they get broken in pretty quickly. I've put on uh, 2,000 miles on these drives so far, and they've, they've now stabilized and broken in. So I was good. I was getting a little bit worried that you know, I had made a mistake. But I met a guy at the truck show, actually, that ran these same tires as me through last winter, and he said, I'm going to love these tires in wintertime. I know some people say that they harden up in wintertime. He says it's not true. They're great in the wintertime. You're going to love them. So that, that made me feel good. Well, I'll let you know how it goes, but we're not going to talk about winter. We just got into summer. Let's enjoy summer first and forget that there's even a winter coming. How about that? Let's erase that from our minds. I'm sorry, sorry I even said it. It's a swear word around here, the W word. First things first though, before we even get through Lloyd, I'm on the Alberta side now. I'm gonna stop in at the SO Husky. Grab some liquid life, some coffee. Uh oh, someone's getting a spanking. It's not me. It wasn't me. Oh yeah. Pulling over that guy over there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghetti oh. Turn right. I'm gonna park right back here. Beautiful, beautiful, just like that, you see? Just like that. Let's quickly run in and get our coffee. And then let's go get this freight off my trailer. I have other freight that I'm supposed to put on there tomorrow. I need an empty trailer for that though. I don't think they're gonna wanna put it on top. This place has been here for a long, long time. They used to have a service bay in there too. And I closed it up with brick. I'd say it's closed. share a little 
coffee trick with you guys. see so many people pouring coffee and then when I explain to them how I do it every single time they've been like I never thought of that so I'm gonna share it with you every time I go in there and I gotta wait for someone to pour their coffee it's all right right they always pour the coffee first and then they put their cream in later and then they have to sit there and stir it right uh-huh I'm gonna save you that step right now put the cream in first Go in there, put the cream in. If you buy enough coffee, you know how much cream you're going to need. Put that in there first, and then pour the coffee in. And then as you pour the coffee in, it mixes it up. First off, you don't have to waste a little stir stick. Second of all, you save all that time of stirring. I'm sure the average person's, person spends at least, at least like five seconds stirring every day. And that's an important five seconds that you could spend doing more important things. And put the cream in first. If you know how much sugar you're going to need to, I don't put any sugar in coffee. That's gross. But if you do it, that's okay. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. I'm just, I don't understand your ways, but you want to put sugar in your coffee, that's cool. Put it in first. If you know how much you're going to need, put it in first. Put the cream in. Pour the coffee in. It's stirred. Done. Put the lid on. Walk out. Pay for it and then walk out. Depending if it's your free coffee or not. Every 10 coffees is free, right? In some places. Every 10. It should be like every, you know, every third or maybe every fifth. I think that would be good. Every 10th coffee. Man, gotta wait so long just for a free one. But it does make it more special. When it's your free coffee, you just feel like doing a dance. Especially if you didn't remember that it was your free one. You went in there, you're like, alright, you're pulling out your wallet. And they're like, no, that's your free one. I feel like a million bucks. Alright. Off we go. Off we go. No time to waste. Oh, let's avoid these potholes here. I don't want to die today. Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming. streets before we get some traffic lights because I got to go that way. I don't want to have to cross over traffic. Oh, there goes the cops again, man. There's, they're all over Lloydminster today. Oh, there they go. Oh, there's one over there too, one there. Oh, there's three in one block here. Well, I hope everybody's being good. Maybe they're looking for someone. And you see, that's why I don't warn people that there are cops ahead. You know, bad things happen. More often than you think. Like, people commit crimes, people kidnap children, they kidnap women. They, the human smuggling is a, a bigger issue than a lot of people realize, I think. And you know, they may be uh, speeding into town and I'm not going to warn them that the cops are up ahead. Well, you never know. That might be the only chance that, you know, that guy gets. Or that might be the only way he gets caught. I mean, the majority of people, 99% of people out here are good people, right? But it's that one person. You never know. You never know.
Is that about one mile down? Always these gravel back roads. Approaching destination in 100 meters on the right side. here on the right side, but I'm not quite a mile down yet. There's supposed to be another truck that delivered before me, and I'm not seeing another truck tracks on this road. Making me a little worried. Because there's so many different addresses on this delivery. There was one address in Elk Point, there was another address in Tofield, that's why I called them and I, I asked them exactly where they were, and this is where they told me to go. Um, we'll see, I see a farm up there on the right that could be where we're going. According to Google Maps, there's one on the left too. I have to give them a call once we get up to the next mile road figure out what's going on. I don't like it that I'm the only one making tracks on here, but they could have just like graded or like yeah, graded this road recently after the last truck left. So that would have erased its tracks. Minuscule Flying J. This is where we're going to spend the night. It took quite a while to unload the trailer. So in the meantime, I was able to polish the wheels and the tanks and the steps a little bit. Shine her up. And also get those uh, side visors installed. I haven't showed you those yet, have I? Let's go take a look. I won them at the truck show the other day. You might have seen pictures online of them already. This is actually what next on my list. Let's see the, the one on the other side there too. So I saw them in the raffle. And I figure if I'm gonna win anything I want to win those. So I put a bunch of tickets in for that one. <laughs> Ended up winning it. I never win things, so that was nice, that was a lot of fun. Fuel prices here are super cheap because we're in Alberta. $1.29.9 per liter. As opposed to Manitoba, that I believe is still at $1.69.9 or $1.59.9, somewhere around there. Alberta is always considerably cheaper, they have less taxes here. But anyway, this is where we're gonna shut her down. Bit of a short day today, not much happened at all. I'm lucky I got a spot here. There's only like 10 spots available. Well, there's one, two, three, and then, including me, and then four, five, six, seven, seven spots here. So I got here, oh, what was it, 3.30 in the afternoon already, like middle of the day, and there's just one spot left. It's ours. Yeah, that's all I have to show you for today. Tomorrow, we go pick up a load. I'm not too sure what it's gonna be, but it's just around the corner from here. I believe it's gonna be some kind of equipment. I know that's kind of vague, but that's all I know. Could be farm equipment, could be construction equipment. It could just be supplies for equipment. This we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> it's just down the street from here. So I'll see you then, guys. Have a good one.